All right, and we're live. We'll clear through all the chapter 13 stages today, because if I don't uh, force myself to do it, I'll get very lazy with it. But first we have to go get the green child. Hello. None here. Next row. That's one green child. Need five more. None here. If I can't max spot him, I don't really care. Four to go. Three. And we have three. Also, we got everything on the banner, apparently. Uh, let's see if I can get something else to roll it. We'll go back and try to get the rest of the pots after we clear every stage. We have a 10 row here. And that's 5. One more. My name is Prune, formerly of the Pontifical Corporation. And today's the singles. I'll just do the head, the tickets. And then we'll go gather OP until we can do ten rows. Or rather until we clear the entire chapter. Okay, we got him at pot five. Pretty lucky for my 4 stars row. I wonder if I even have any of these things. Apparently I do. Hooray! Hang on, I think I saw a very rare shrub. Might even be oh, I have the rare specialist tokens. Where was this Great. Taken? We don't have to look for the last one. Hooray! We have Gavio's Brat Max Pot. This will never be relevant. A beautiful medal, but the design's a bit dull. You considered adding? Hang on, I think I saw a very rare shrub. Oh yeah, we needed to play chapter thirteen. Where was this video taken? To get the materials to. Actually, to him. Quick, let's rush to the skip button. The best for unit of all time, yes. Do you have to explain it every time? Okay, so if I start the mission, will you let me just start every mission in adverse afterwards? Because I'm not sure if I'm, I'm in adverse or normal mode right now. And I'd rather not play all the missions twice. Lower rarity operators are easier to promote. Especially when it's Verdant and you need to clear halfway to chapter 13 to get the resources for it. Let's rest and regroup. Okay, so now it should let me just click normally, right? To make sure we're actually on the adverse. Or is it something from the... Oh yeah, it's from here. Okay. Fixed now. So, we need to start with the uh, Gavio's child, then Ethan, Estelle, Humus. No idea what I needed for this chapter. Let's throw random operators at it. And let's grab this and sure, why not cut her? 
私の出番ですね。I've played through about half the chapter on CN, but I don't really remember much. I remember that the first part was basically chapter 10, with a few extra mobs, and after that we got the card pushing mechanic. Yeah, you have the cannon. Oh, and it has the annoying assholes on the bottom. Verdant is very bad. Uh, so we retreat the... Uh, crab when you need to. Stay still, please. Humus can survive the can. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Hmm, hmm, hmm. We can wait a little more. Uh, the cannon shot shouldn't move from Humus, but just in case. And I'll block the rest of the still. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, I should really start making uh, the pot like the premiere stream, where it tells you the stream is actually coming, instead of just starting stre to stream instantly, like I have a habit of doing. The problem with that is that I'm incredibly lazy. Oops. Yeah, I mean chapter 13. There's too many chapters, I forgot which one we're on. Thanks, I fixed it now. Uh, stay still, please. Actually, this probably has a lot of attack. Yeah, I'm actually just fine without blowing up. Explosion! Oh shit. The slugs are too tanky. Then do they didn't die. Kind of a troll condition. Having 200 defense is a bit unhelpful. We are fine though. I wasn't paying attention. I'll stream it when it comes to Yen. I can't be bothered to play chapter seriously when I play them on CN. Because I can't be bothered to translate whatever enemy does out of the game and read it. It's annoying. It's why when I do tryhard stuff it's mostly on Yen. Okay, so the first stage is just trolling you with extra HP by making the cannon up one shot slugs. Quick skip before we see the story. I think we started to get the new chapter mechanics around stage 8 or something. Might be wrong. But I definitely remember the first few stages having only slug stuff. Like this asshole caster. I thought you wanted me here to fix a lot. There's more of you. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Yeah, 
and deflect to avoid the necrosis. A Q for the truck. Can probably have eaten DPS stuff here. Why not? Walk the worm because otherwise Cutter will die. Okay, that's it for this stage. Just annoying casters. And basic uh, chapter 10 enemies, with enemies without the cannon. I assume the cannon is now turned off in the story. No. But we have the cannon on a few more stages going forward. Before we switch to the new mechanic. I remember being kind of annoyed with it when I played it on CN. Because we're kind of just getting extra chapter 10 stages. Uh, instead of something new. We have the cannon back on. Okay, so the gimmick here is that uh, displacing the cannon shots is annoying. So we're just gonna be swapping bodies. Or just using two bodies that can face tank a cannon. Because Humus with the shield has more than 3000 health. Yeah, Slugs plus Cars, completely normal. Chapter 10 stage. Oh, we, we have these tiles here, I did not notice them. These guys are defense crushers that do AoE on top of being defense crushers. And now the next attack stuns and does extra damage. They have very low defense, so Jaya shits on them. But they have fairly high physical. Just showing off what they do. The stun is AoE by the way. Go home, please. Oops, a bit too late on that deploy.
I got my P1 Hoarder in 15 pulls. Because he came before Verdant, like usually happens when we try to roll for 4 stars. We also managed to get pot 6 Verdant, because I happened to have the 4 star specialist chips. Uh, I think uh, Verdant is related to Gavio, no matter what anyone says. I mean, let's look at them and compare. So we have green hair, yellowish eyes. He's some lizard thing. Now let's look at Gavio. Green hair, yellowish eyes, elf ears. He's some lizard thing. I think the relation is clear, clear to see. Well, Verdant knows what the comb is, so I guess that's different. And we have someone in chat claiming to be the father. So, open and shut case, I think. I mean, it's a skill that gives him extra health. <laughs> Who gives a shit what level it is? Okay, I'm pretty sure this was the last stage that had... This assholes. Oh, wait. Let's see what this guy actually does. Long Rage Bombard. Okay, it's artillery. AoE physical. Okay, so it's just artillery and then it spawns a slug. You made it sound interesting. Uh, I'm disappointed. Uh, yeah, let's just hit all three cars. He is still E1 because I need materials from this chapter to actually to him. Well, the game says he's long ranged, but it's kind of not. I mean, this isn't exactly wrong, long range, this is just normal sniper range. The game is lying. Homos is struggling. Go help, Verdon. No, oh, he won't catch it. Jaya's turn. To help um, Humus so this stage. But seriously, this is a pure Humus stage. Look at this crap. I'll be sad if I have to deploy something else. Homo's doing everything, almost everything himself is pretty funny. Curses. We have like two enemies that walk through, so I have to use one more. Such a scam. Kind of a meme stage, I guess. Okay, uh, we should be done with the chapter 10 stages now. And we should have actual new stages with new mechanics now. Yeah, Humus is great for chapter 10. Maybe he's great for chapter 13 too. We're going to find out shortly. In the name of example, Stop I just all agreed to ignore that name. Okay, we got the new shits. It's the poop enemy. Nah, but they don't work. They don't have the poop uh, respawn factory here. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I 
so when the poop dies it turns into this thing and then this thing dies and then the stage is done. I'm pretty sure this thing has taunt. There is a thing that revives those things, but we don't have them on this stage. We'll see it later. Irritating. Hey, perfect book. Good job, Humus. Okay, medic here just in case. So is this stage here only to show up the poop enemies or are we gonna see something else? Feel like it's just poop to me. Which is fine I guess, one new stage, one new enemy. The sheets are integral to the mechanic of the event. Um, they remind me most of the FS event, you know the one with uh, the Reed Ghosts, or the Irish Ghosts I guess. They leave something behind that can be respawned to get the enemy back, it's very similar. Also the little sheets have life steal, but it's not much, it's barely noticeable. Good god Ethan, what are you doing? Was it FC or FS? I don't remember. Uh, the one where Reed's sister was a boss. Hi, Richie. There's too many event letters, dude. Um, and I've played all of them, so at some point I'm gonna start forgetting. Fuck a cutscene. There's no skip button, you're stuck watching it with me. Oh, this is the cars we push. Is it what we're going to use to commit terrorism? Weird training stage, but okay. So this is basically a big uh, transportation plane. Ooh, that's just a giant trip cage. Okay, that's metal as fuck. <laughs> I dig it. Might read the story later just to find out why we have the metal as dragon. Order acknowledged. Okay, now it's explaining the mechanic. This thing charges up and revives shit. They will revive forever. There's no cap as long as this thing is there. It does actually have a range, so if the slugs die outside of its range, they're not going to revive. Okay. Other than moving the slugs out of range, because that's not always an option, we also have the option to commit terrorism. We summon a bomb, you hit it with operators to push it, and then it goes to this thing and commits terrorism. Seize the moment. I was blind by hatred. 
the slugs actually eat the energy from it, so you need to keep pushing it through them. Successfully committed terrorism. Now we can kill the pool. Why is this one not walking? <laughs> the fuck? Naturally, Gravo is complaining about not murdering enough people while she's committing terrorism. Yeah, the mechanic is fairly simple. You just want to disable the outers as quickly as possible. Now, when this thing fires, it's gonna revive this. The Poo isn't the only enemy that can revive, by the way. Uh, important to know, when it fires, they revive back at the device, not where they're killed. This makes more sense. Spawn the car, and push. Enemies hit it, and do this energy. Chop, chop with the orders. Charge, car, charge. Chop, chop with the orders. I'll make him regret showing their faces. More of you? Ugh, what a day. Double hit is particularly effective at charging it. But if there are enemies there, you can't really move it quickly. You kind of have to wait for them to fuck off. Or keep attacking it even more. If they destroy the car, a different one will be summoned. Think we can make it though? Kind of rude. Okay, that one will die there. We have to wait for the casters to fuck off. Because you don't have anything that can push it well from this tile. Well, I guess it can. Can I kill a caster really quick? Because they're annoying pests. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll drop it on here so he can keep charging. After it moves out of range. Now there's no casters to stop it. So it will walk through. If you have stuff with multi hit, it's easier to push it. By the way, you can notice these things dying very slowly, or not dying at all. If this device dies, they all die almost instantly. You can see how much faster it's bleeding now. Minimalist dyed his hair. Nah, nah, nah. This is definitely from Minimalist's event, but it's not Minimalist. Maybe it's Gavio and Minimalist's child. Yeah, Clickers 2 is pretty good at moving the bomb. You just need the tiles for it. I assume any operator that applies a dot is also excellent on it. Actually, that's worth a try. Let's uh, nuke something with it on this one. You're saying that the masked heretic isn't minimalist? <laughs> this is draw as fuck. You can't push the bomb. From a melee tile anyway. Okay, so we we'll have to use we we'll have to use click here. Uh yeah, not sure I have anything else. How should I these casters are the same thing as the shit slugs. When you kill them, you get the residue and it respawns the caster. Go 
go car, go! Move past the assholes. I have a really bad squad for this. I feel like I should add more ranged operators to my squad. Casters are horrible pests though, and they revive where you kill them. That can make them really annoying to deal with. Okay, we have it halfway there. So now we deploy click here facing down, and that will take it the rest of the way. Number is probably also an idea. Okay, that should be it. It's all about pushing the cart to the end as fast as possible. Because once you get it, uh, the real threat of the stage ends. A million slugs spawn, and they ate all of the car energy. I definitely need to bound this squad a bit more. Hi. I wonder if you can still blow up cars. No, but you can use them to tank shots, because they have higher priority. Useful to know. At least I think they have higher priority. Now I'll screw around with it later. Bee Hunter would be pretty good, but Gravel redeploys faster and also has a double attack like Bee Hunter. So you can just use Gravel. Gravel is the best for this, as long as she has the tiles for it. Sometimes you need an operator for a, with a longer range than Gravel, whether it's a Lord Guard or a ranged operator. I half remember this stage being really annoying. Okay, Pinecone isn't doing much for me. So we'll switch her for a card pusher. I should also test out uh, whether Umbreo actually targets the card or not, as somebody suggested. Yeah, I can't eat to him yet. Anti-witchcraft repositionable bombs. That's a lot of words for bomb. More likely to be attacked uh, upon receiving damage reduces ASPD. When defeated leaves behind two, sh two shits. Okay, all annoying. It has stunt, it reduces your attack speed. And it blocks bombs, so bombs can't walk through it. Mm, the reduction isn't much. You can kill him through it. Nothing to worry about then. In fact, you can abuse the taunt, so you don't have to switch around. He's positioning afterwards. Not terribly tanky. It's not a shield guard from chapter 8 or anything. Any decent caster will kill it in a few hits. Catch the slug, please. So many Ethan binds well. Yeah, the SP from Ethan, you can see it. Dots work really well here. Look at that. <laughs> Ethan can bind the car. <laughs> the fuck? Is it bound or is it being blocked by this guy? Oh. 
Okay, yeah, so they can block tiles, they're not even on. Oh, this guy died. Also a leaked one. Okay, so this event can get very laggy. So we learned that Dot is good and that you should probably bring a couple of casters into these stages. No good melee tiles, more than anything. And for my second caster. Oh yeah, let's uh, at least rank 7 his skill. He will go from, look at that, 11%, 12%, 14%, 15%, 16%, 18% max health. Can you imagine the power of this worthless fucking skill? <laughs> Who makes this crap? All I can assure you is everyone returns safe. The only firework redoubter is going to make is going to be r from your phone. Redoubter is actually going to be hazardous <laughs> to your machine. Okay, so Ethan can bind it, but the bind doesn't stop it from moving, basically. And once you blow it up, the main threat of the stage is over. That's why it has so few enemies. I don't think I mind the mechanic too much. Might be a bit too basic. We'll have to see what the... Other stages give us. Because the correct solution should always be to push the car. I can't imagine why you ever wouldn't do that at the first opportunity. Yeah, you might have seen them there. They are ag aggressively unthreatening in normal stages. Because it's just an enemy with low defense. I'd say these are the most annoying enemies. But they're not too tanky, so there shouldn't be much struggle. Although if this asshole could get a move on, that would be appreciated. The AFK timer of 150 years, finally. Twenty-seven percent bind, by the way. Twenty-eight percent, but he's gonna hit every single bind that makes the stage last longer. Two binds in a row, three binds in a row. Item binding like he has sixty-five percent chance to bind off skill. Chapter 1311, so we're about halfway through. Okay, so this one has two respawners. This code's fine for now. We can 
we might have to add pinecone back in later if the slugs become a problem. By the way, it is actually possible to kill the slug uh, residue or the shit residue before they get respawned if you have enough damage. They are not, um, it's not invincible or anything, they just have a lot of defense. Art damage kills them quickly enough. That was a bad tile to deploy. Her on. Oh, second box. Crap. I should have deployed uh, Estelle, but it was wa wagging, so I was afraid I'd miss it. We'll switch Verdant to Estelle once we have DSP for it. And I'll probably need some extra DPS here. Go, click, go, push faster. Hmm, nice damage. And now we need to make another device and push it all the way to down here. Oops. Cast casters do decent damage here, I guess. Kind of got rolled by the slugs. Ah, uh, no, nothing like lingering geckos. It's closer to the... Was it FD? FC? Enemies respawn unless you do a thing. And hit count is relevant. Don't think I actually need much changes to the squad. Although Myrtle would be helpful here. If you can blow up the stupid things before the stage really starts, you can save yourself a bunch of effort. I thought you wanted me here to fix a lot of one on one. Soft guy, huh? Yes, yeah, she's just here because sometimes I get bored of overusing Myrtle. Should have deployed um, Click earlier, probably. Don't waste block this time. Why did I retreat click? I'll just need him. Oh, we get a new device here. Good to know. We don't need this one anymore. Not having killed these things here is a problem. 
Oh, and then we get extra defenders from the back. Kind of an irritating stage. So we need to kill the defenders group quickly, otherwise you can't push through. I could just start Panko, that's the most sensical solution, so to say. Because it will... she murders the slugs really quickly. Okay, we can rush down the defenders before uh, the casters actually come. I will optimize the stages and upload them later. For now, I just like doing it without changing the squad too much. Because if I change it to something that obviously counters the mechanic, it becomes a bit uh, too simple. If I struggle a bit, I will properly learn how to deal with it. Also, this way I don't have to think about what to actually put in the team. But most logical thing would be haze here, pudding here. And use a more sensical position. Trying to see if I can greet a bit. I thought you wanted me here to fix up. You think you're going to grind me down with numbers? The slugs eat so fast. Damn. I think Estelle sucks at killing them, because her own defense is low and they heal based on damage dealt. Humus is much more efficient even though he has less attack than Estelle. So that's probably it. Basic setup I did here is fine otherwise. And yeah, Pinecone plus Defender would be super efficient, because they do zero damage to Defenders. So they won't heal much. Okay, now let's not uh, repeat the stage forever. Uh, Mask Heretic is apparently the father. My personal theory is minimalist though, because I don't trust him. So, add a pinecone, then you have pinecone plus core on one lane, and the other idiots can handle the other. I don't think I need Jaya. There's a mission? I wanna go. Yeah, it just makes sense, right? He's short like uh, Durin, but looks like Gavio. Only thing that makes sense logically. Hi, dude. And go straight to Pinecon. No, they do out of damage. Oh. I expected a bit less. 
Yeah, I guess they do art damage then. No reason to use cool. Uh, still then. Or rather, no reason not to use Estelle, is what I mean to say. And now we spawn a device here and we're done. Because Pinecone will be the rage them. They have super high defense but they're weak to arts. If you have arts damage you can just kill them quickly. Or true damage too, obviously. The way it loses all the range when the slicks come though. What died? Yeah, that's fine. Eaton isn't needed. So we can just core here. After a million years, maybe it will reach or it will just die to casters. That'd be annoying. Yeah, it just died to casters. Oh yeah, I forgot them, but um, Estelle is basically unkillable in this chapter. If you add some DPS next to her. Okay, push this shit again. But this type, we're gonna set some slightly faster transportation. Damn, the casters melted Humus so fast. Oh yeah, the town guy is here. It's fine, we're true. At least there's no more casters to kill it. Kind of a pain when you don't have a lot of operators to push it. And you kind of get stuck repeating this crap for a bit. So basically, the slugs will only revive where they actually are. The cast... Sorry, the, op the other way around. The slugs will always revive at the device. The casters revive where they actually are. So you just need to make sure to control their position so you can put it through. A good idea is to use something like Suzuran to just hold the slugs in place if you don't want to deal with them constantly respawning. Because if the slugs are in place, they can't respawn. Bye, alleged Gavio's father. Ah, uh, yeah, you can kill them with arts damage. I'll have to show it off on this stage by necessity. Basically. Because this stage has a kind of a stupid gimmick. Basically, there's no way to disable the devices. So instead, you just have to kill these things. You just kind of move them out of range and then kill them on this tile. That's the entire stage. A bit dumb. I mean, their actual stats don't matter as long as you kill them on this tile. They'll die anyway. You just need them out of the device range.
because of their here they respawn. These are always zeros. For some reason you can't see the range, but you can see it when it procs. It's exactly three rows. So as long as you're outside of that, you can safely kill them. For example, these things here will also bleed to death. You could also kill slugs here, and they wouldn't respawn. Oh yeah, because he's a, the chapter 13 operator. Isn't that normal? Where are we going with how speed? The whole point of this stage is just to teach you that you can kill slugs outside of device range. Not that it comes up that often. But you know, knowing it is better than not, I guess. Oh, these guys can beat. Uta gave there's two of them on adverse. Not bad. Yeah, if you don't uh, kill them on this tile, you eventually get an infinite bow of these slugs. That's like uh, 40 slugs on top of each other. Which is about as stupid as it sounds. Yeah, okay, that's everyone. Now we just need to kill these stupid things, which takes forever. I really wish they actually bled faster if you kill them outside of the range of these things. There is no reason for it to take that long. Like, there's no comeback potential for these things. They're just dead already. Yeah, it's a pretty stupid level. This is to make you roll for Horder S3, because you know he, he can kill them with true damage. And it won't take quite as long. What's wrong with Chapter 10's level design, the fuck? Why Gitano? If they're that cluster Chiryuki will have infinitely more DPS than Gitano. Uh, Gitano is only relevant if they're spread out. Ah, the uh, typical infinite pine in Okay, so 20% of he its health is roughly equal to 6000 arts damage. So it's not that much when you're playing with 4 stars. But this stage is still a bit stupid. Yeah, you can move your account between mobile and an emulator. An emulator just uh, emulates a phone. You're not really transferring anything. The one I'm using, Mumu. I've also used Bluestacks and LDB before. They're all perfectly the same, to be honest. So you just try whatever one, whichever one you want. There's other... So what does this do, other than being super fucking tanky? When surrounding friendly or enemy units are defeated, recovers health. Okay, so this is Estelle. Estelle has betrayed us. So we kind of just want to kill it in one go. This is what the money farming stages look like in modern times. Also, this thing is incredibly tanky. Whoa. Oh, 
Okay, so this stage is just to show show off this Asco, I guess. I assume there will be more of them, so let's set up some spawn camping stuff. While we wait for more enemies to come. One million defenders. What else is next? Oh, and this asshole in the middle. So this asshole so buff him when you kill them. And then he has increased attack. Okay, I get the gimmick of the stage. Let's uh, let him abuse the his gimmick and see how much attack he actually gets. Let's see what we're dealing with here. The real question is whether he's tankable by Quora or not. Yeah, yeah, he can kill it if he wants, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, half of Quora's health in one hit. Yeah, I think this guy buffed is not advised. He gets to double deep with the slugs, because first the slugs die. And I feel like his melee attack does more than his ranged attack, which is pretty typical. Yeah. Also, he gets healed a lot. So I just want to isolate him from other enemies and then murder him. I got it. Pretty sure he's walking through here now, though. Don't have... didn't retreat the casters to kill him. Thought there be a few more enemies than this guy. This isn't really an untankable amount of damage or anything. There's a few things I wanna know though. Does killing the crab actually count as a kill? Or not? It will be irrelevant later. Yeah, Utage can kill tanky things. Something being killed by Utage isn't indicative of it not being tanky. Mm, too lazy to change anything. Just point... Um, easiest way is to just not kill the defenders and just let everything walk through while we block him with a defender. So yeah, let's set that up. I don't really have anything against the chapter 10 cannon. Let's target this guy though, before any slugs die next to him. And the next one will just isolate him to safely dispose. Like so. We'll let all of the defenders walk through. They'll get killed by the casters over here. You can also just insta-kill the defenders before it, he comes. That's an option as well. I assume this is far enough out of range. He doesn't seem buffed, but I also can't really tell. The slugs are just doing a lot of damage, because apparently they are... Oh, 
the assholes. Oh shit, I didn't notice I was leaking on the top. Not paying enough attention. Okay, yeah, he didn't get buffed. I like how this thing can spawn in the blue box and he doesn't proc. Oh, cause he'll just kill us, looks. Oh, uh, this is uh, pretty easy though. The enemy shouldn't be that dangerous because you can always walk it behind your operators. You just need to separate it from the group. I'm kind of curious about what it, his exact killing range is. If it's one tile, he's super easy. If it's a tile and a half, it can get annoying. Because if it's one tile, you can block it on the back of a defender, and if something dies here, it's not gonna heal. Because one tile is this. That's why it matters. Exactly what the, where the range is. No, oh, he got buffed. Oops. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? But that one didn't heal him. Yeah, so it should be around one tile. Okay, I'll basically try what I described. I'll block him somewhere here. Maybe even with Verdant. Yeah, he's not really isolated from the kills if I don't push him back. Uh, a bit irritating. So now he'll get all fully buffed up. He didn't get the buff when they died sideways. So his range really is extremely short. Yeah, now he got it when the flowers under died. Okay, it's it's exactly one tile range. So as long as your Q enemy is more than one tile away from him, he doesn't get to do anything. That's fine then. Okay, I don't remember this stage at all. So I think that's around where I've played in chapter 13. The fuck is this? Cannot be blocked, collects up to 5 pieces of shit. When defeated, drops all collected shit. Okay, so this is just the local janitor. Who we're going to murder because we're assholes. Okay, no problem. I'm here to help. Why are five enemies instantly dead? The fuck? They are, they're obviously in this guy. So th those are the leech. Right, I get it. He's the leech spawner.
any tire where I can conveniently hit them both. Yep. Where did his shit go? The fuck? He was full of shit before what happened to it. Did he get revived out of his uh, trash back? Truly the shits are evil. Can we push the car past this guy or is he gonna murder it super efficiently? Now we can push it past, it's fine. Oh yeah, I cannot be blocked. Oops. But if you leak shit, it doesn't count. Interesting. Okay, so these guys can't really stop cars well. You can really easily push the car past them. Also, you need to actually kill the janitors. <laughs> yeah, uh, regret is the correct response to leveling up Gavio's brat, but I'm gonna do it too, for the second time. Okay, uh, so... These guys aren't dangerous unless you let them buff up and then you let them reach you. They tend to AFK a lot, so you can just kill them safely from range. Okay, we saw what everyone did, more or less. Let's pause the stage. For now, I'm gonna get at least uh, three records with Utonada. Because I do think she's stronger than Verdant on paper. But getting that value out in practice is something different. Damn Pyke on Demolition Slugs so easily. Oh yeah, we needed to kill this asshole. I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, what's a good tile for it? Okay, screw it. We'll just point uh, Indigo there and use a skill later. Give the car some help, please. Oh yeah, the car taunts, so uh, Beanstalk is safe there on her own. Perfect. Actually add some DPS, so I can continue not paying attention. And just in case, so there's nothing we can possibly fuck up. Okay. Oh, we fucked something up. This guy's going down here. Guess we're hoping for uh, <laughs> click stuns now. The car has higher taunt. Okay, he's fucking around. We have a shot. Oh, that guy just jump scared me. He's just gonna go there and die. Whoa. I thought he was gonna go into this hole. Well, maybe he still will. Let me deploy a medic. Because he might just be trolling. You never know. With this puffing. Okay, I got super throat and then treated Indigo. Would have been funny if I leaked from his throw as puffing. Pretty sure this thing can't kill Humus. Yeah, one of them can't. Oh no, I think it just barely wins. Yeah, emphasis on barely. If he has a barrier, they can't kill him. Because then he has more defense and would heal one of them. But without barrier, he takes more damage. Oh no, I have played pa past that stage, I just didn't remember it. Because I remember this one 
This was a stage that spammed 5 million casters at you. Briefly gathered. Yep, I definitely remember this one. You just have elite versions of enemies in normal stages. At least they AFK for a while. And you need to kill four of these stupid things. Before the stage actually gets to end. Okay, these tiles are deployable. Okay, Humus will be fine here. I thought you wanted me here to fix the lock. There's more of you. There's no pinecone tile here, so the casters are gonna be really annoying to deal with. And we should probably remove this guy now. Because he does a lot of damage. Oh, there's another one. Wonderful. The casters respawn endlessly at the bottom until you destroy these things. And you have these assholes walking through the middle. Until you kill them. You should really be spawn killing them here. But if they start walking, they eat slugs and become super annoying. Oh, okay. Any changes you want to make? Mm. Sure, why not? If she's only tanking casters. We just need her to not get one shot between waves. All makes sense. This guy takes the middle. One operator takes the top, like before. What else do we need? These guys are on car pushing duty. Ah, uh, you can go home for more car pushers. You want to go together? And we need something else to help kill the AFK shits. Because you don't want to deal with them at in the slightest. Okay, let's try this. What are the death and rest and every enemy? We have websites for that. Do you think I know <laughs> every enemy's defense and rest stats in the game, in my head or not, or something? Just look it up online if you want to know. The letter values don't mean anything, dude. I assume that's far enough to not buff him. Yeah, but the things dying in the middle will buff him. Arin doesn't work here. Because now he'll just walk over us. 
Okay, no worry. Verdant is still one, yeah. Since we can't use him for what I wanted to, we will switch him for Estelle. Maybe take... Oh yeah, by the way, we M3'd uh, this one. The Pony Circus is back in town. I'll use it next time I uh, stream people picking my operators. What a horrible fucking skill. Yeah, I don't think there's enemies next to each other for Pudding to do anything. Uh, what were you taking out? I think it's all just device pushing. Maybe I didn't see anything. If this conflict truly is necessary, I suppose there's no way around it. Was that verdant? The fuck? Upper side, so he pushes stupid cards. I mean, does she really? I don't think Mayor's multiplier is that high in the first place. It's 450%, right? Deleting from existence. Oh, he has infinite defense now. Okay, that guy's removed. Now all of the slug get humus on this lane, and now we can push cards. There's definitely operators with a higher effective multiplier than 600. Oh, for fuck's sake. Humus, you failed me. Maybe I should have brought Pinecone along anyway. Wonderful. Now this guy got ultra buffed. The stage is actually super irritating though. Look at that shit. Probably need something like Moose, and then stopping the slugs from going there at all. I mean, considering Meowner's base attack is... What, like 700? And he does like 6000 damage. I think that's a bit more than 600. What are we changing? We'll see if Moose can smack them to death. Yes. Hope do my best. And yeah, we can go back to Pure Stream, I think, because you don't want to bring two medics. I'll definitely optimize this tomorrow. It seems like such a pain in the ass. I essentially blend into the walls, so I'm a good choice for scouting. Hmm? Get around me, guys! Hmm. 
intimidate the enemy? I'm capable of that, right? That was a stupid place to deploy. Being stuck the fuck. Now there's nothing to push the cart. Maybe I should keep Utagi and just nuke these assholes faster. Anyhow. So where did that slug come from? If the slug spawned from here, then this guy is an annoying asshole. If they spawn over here, then we're fine. Retreat failure. Yeah, I think the slugs only come from the top. I'm paying so much attention to where they actually spawn. So you're saying the outers don't reach all the way on the left? If this conflict truly Which is blue box? I suppose there's no way around okay, this one's definitely gonna miss if you push the casters in and kill them inside the blue box. Or at least you can move it to a place where it won't trigger. Yeah, let's watch where every one of these triggers. Okay. So this reaches way past the blue box. So this lane is hopeless. Um, you can kill stuff here. And this lane is clear. So you just need to kill stuff a few tiles. You can re let the slugs die somewhere around here. Okay, I kind of didn't deploy anything, so let's uh, reset on the Myrtle DP. I think a really good idea for the caster is to just uh, shove them in the blue box with something like Jaya. So you don't have to deal with their reviving gases over and over. So let's swap Gravel out for Jaya and try that. I'm not sure if he cycles quickly enough, so we'll leave other operators too. And we'll see if we can kill the slugs somewhere in this lane. So they stop being pests a bit faster. That way Beanstalk can help push the cart for the first three tiles. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is fine. And then just try to nuke this asshole. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Uh, there might have been a better spot for this. Can you deploy something here? Yeah, yeah cause they don't revive if they're on this tile. Like this. So that would have been even better. Okay, let's see if we can do what they want with the casters. So I'm pretty sure when it dies here it won't revive. Emphasis I'm pretty sure. I might just be wrong. Ah, uh, kill this looks. Yep, completely disappears. So you can just cheese them like with Jai like this. I'm also gonna leak a bunch of other shit. 
Okay, but so here's the cheat with casters. You can kill them in the blue box and they don't leave any residue. Because they died outside of range. So, um, another option for people who don't want to bother with this. The reason they don't leave any residue is if they die out of range of the machines. So, for example, if you kill them on this tile here, they won't leave any residue either. Yep, work consistently. This guy is buffed because the other guy leaves uh, 3 spawn. Not quite enough damage, so bait and attack. Kind of just screwing around with the casters, because I've already fucked up other stuff. Not sure if this is too useful with 4 stars in particular. Because you only have Jaya to cycle, and casters obviously come too quickly. But if you have two fast redeploys, you can definitely abuse it to trivialize that lane. Another option is you can use a pusher. So the condition for this to happen is for them to die out of devices. If you have a pusher here, you can push them out like this, for example. That's an another option to consider. Okay, my initial idea was to just tank them, which wasn't going anywhere. We can keep uh, pure stream plus moose, but we'll, we'll move them far enough away from the box. We won't spawn camp them, we'll kill them around here. So we need one operator to control here, say uh, Estelle, Humus here to kill off the slugs coming here, and then casters to work on this stuff. We'll probably bring back Utage to kill the defenders on the other side. So they stop being pests. And Jaya S1. We can point a sniper at it, I don't think we need it. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. And the gravel. Yeah, we should probably keep. This one in. Actually, do we, do we even need to kill them? Do they do arts damage or physical? I think they do physical. That's definitely what it felt like. Uh, melee ranged physical. Ranged arts, none, none, physical. And the little shits are arts damage. Okay, let's see if the basic idea I have works. So we just shut down this lane completely, like this. That way he will spawn you all of the slugs. Click and start working. And we'll have May here like this. Oh, this one made it through. Yeah, not sure why the residue is on this tile. That's kind of weird. Those are now gonna respawn around here. Which is fine. And then we just time the caster kills. With Gravo and Jaya we can just cycle them. Oh yeah, cars. Fuck, I knew I was forgetting something. Little more. You just need the center to be passed. You can probably do this with just May, with perfect timing or some shit. Uh, 
But that seems like a hassle. And this is easier. Verdant's turn. This guy is obviously buffed, so some help with killing him. Oh yeah, we had cards I need to push. Completely forgot. The caster trick is definitely the most helpful thing I found out so far. Though I should have retreated some other stuff, obviously. Or rather, I shouldn't have retreated uh, core earlier. Okay. If we got the timing right. Now we left one free spawn here. As long as. Um, yeah, we're fine. The free spawn is going to fuck me in a bit. So we did mess that up a bit. With this guy eating too much from somewhere. Where exactly they ate from isn't clear to me. But at least the basic idea of what I did here is completely valid. Beyond that. Okay, one more try. Yeah, I really like this stage. It taught me a lot. We worked with, we learned we can despawn casters. Okay, so he, there's one thing in particular I want to pay attention to. When we used Humus on the top, a few slugs walked a bit past him. He sounds like he's from London, is what he does. So we had slugs move past uh, Humus. And not, not sure exactly why that happened. My theory is that uh, they get a bit split boxed, and the actual shit spawn ends up in the Tchumus style instead of the tile in front of him. We're gonna observe if that's actually true. Set up here, so the slugs stop being such pests. Okay, this thing exploded. We can now retreat. I feel like uh, May as one's gonna line up perfectly, and this guy will just get deleted. This is too much. He will die before he reaches it. Might be fine. Can throw it with Jaya. 
need to nuke this thing right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna die in a really stupid fashion. Kind of messy, but I think we're... Oh, I didn't notice I'm leaking here. This stage has a lot of lanes. You need to pay attention. Or maybe I can just have something other than Beanstalk hold the lane. You know. <laughs> That's also an option. Now they're split exactly 50-50. Or rather not exactly. And they're closer here. So they will leave uh, corpses. It's all about having more than 50% of the hitbox be on the left side. As soon as I finish with one other review, I'm gonna optimize the stage. I really enjoy it. Fun gimmick. Okay, so corrections for later. Might as well have Murto here. Straight to click. Haze will probably be even better here. Okay, so we kept getting a slug there. Let's pay attention. Well, how that happens. Oh, and this thing gets respawned, it respawns it in him. That makes sense then. Yeah, I got it, got it. More than 50%. Now. Mm -hmm. And you can go home. Wait until the slugs fuck off. Apparently, his attack has been super buffed. Yeah, it works with a lot of enemies. Where they can't do their thing when you have a blue box in the way. Let's blow this stupid thing. Shit, don't die please. Yep, that was totally calculated. Not a panic press that almost killed me. When I should have just deployed a medic. Nice pounder. We can core this one, I think. Or rather, we have no choice. I can time it with Mason's too. That's fine. We just want to bring the device over. That should be enough speed already. Oh yeah, he dies when I retreat operators. That sucks so much ass. I'll sweep up 
Kind of got fucked by using core earlier. Even though the basic idea should be doable. Oh, he walked past Truverdant. What a stupid way to link the last enemy. Okay, we only need to heal one target with pure stream, so back to Gavio. Or even Susuru. Stay alive, Doctor. You won't have a future to count on otherwise. Any operator I feel is being particularly useless. Uh this guy does some stuff, I guess. Some stuff. These two guard the lane together. Other than Verdant being replaced with gravel, obviously. <laughs> Nah, whatever. Nah, nah, Verdant, Verdant stays. I need to get his trust somewhere. He's obviously useless, that's his job. No, just play better instead. So, cycles and shit anyway. If this conflict truly is necessary, I suppose there's no way around it. Oh, I have to get serious now. I'm not saying he's not doing his best. That being his best is what the problem is. No, for fuck's sake. Dead branches and rotten leaves. I'll sweep up. I have to get serious now. Wait for the caster to pass. Chop, chop with the orders. You go home. Oh, when the residue gets killed. How annoying. Where the fuck is he getting residue from then? Myrtle should be in front of the... Crab, maybe? Shit, I stopped paying attention to the bottom. Playing this at double speed is an annoying pain in the ass. What was last thing? The Mystic Caster? Oh, Mystic Casters are cursed. They get to only be good once in a million years. Last thing is the... Wait, what's last thing? Oh, a Dreadnought. 
isn't he a six star? So doesn't he automatically do like more damage than eighty percent of the operators in the game anyway? So there's no point in doing the humus thing, because he doesn't keep the slugs away. Anyway. Frontline with Myrtle. Bravery in you to stand as my enemy. That's a horrible position to cause an issue later. But whatever. Gazing point on white branches and rotten leaves. I'll be counting on you again today, little blood. Jay can solve the custom, you can deploy me later. Whose car is this? We're counting on you again today, little apple. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Okay, the uh, three guys aren't doing anything. Oh, the asshole looks. Whoa. They healed him a ton. Indigo is a horrible caster for killing these guys. She just end up, ends up super buffing them. Okay, basic idea is fine, just use something to block the slugs away from this asshole. The Viviana event. It's not even set in Poland. Stop right there, you little cobs. Don't just rush in ahead. So what do you think of the event overall, guys? So far I'm pretty happy with it. Bunch of various mechanics you need to play around with. Now the Masty minus 10 10. Fair enough. You know, I think it's gonna be faster to just spawn a car from here instead of bothering to push it. All the way. Oh, yeah, it's because this shit spawn residue as well. No wonder we have so much residue lying around. Okay, so I seriously think it's faster to just spawn one here and wait for this stupid thing to charge. Okay, that's deleted. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? And then just start spawning devices from here. Oh, 
The fuck did this guy get buffed from? Did he get buffed from the car dying? Oh, that's just bullshit. Okay, let's see if we can just time it for the... Okay, retreat here, here, here. Bok when in range. Little more. Okay, now we're done. We'll bring that over in a bit. Let's just get rid of the caster first. Too much damage. I kind of doubt he loses. Yeah, he's fine. Chop, chop with the orders. GG. That was the pain in the ass. Just in case he gets super buffed. How much defense does this, does this thing have anyway? Oh yeah, JS one. Can't check the usual way. So far that was my favorite stage. Use the all of the enemies in a pretty cool combination. Where it was difficult to separate the dot shits, the Estelles from everything else. Do we have the stuff to eat to Verdant in the shop? Or does the next chapter have to come out before it appears there? Or does the shop just have to reset? What's the condition on getting new materials in the shop? Oh, holy shit, that guy's fast. <coughs> Look at it, it's speed running. Almost there. Probably need to spawn camp these things. Waiting for Verdan to die so he can start pushing the cart. He's just going in so fast. These guys are gonna be really annoying on this stage. Oh, and then you have a. Uh, so. On the emergency, you have raves that are super tanky and super, super fast at the same ta time. On a stage that's full of taunting enemies. Hm, nice. Hi, dude. We're done with most of the stages, so now we're on to the really annoying ones. Well, there's always one solution to any rave shit problems. It's called Eaton. Not sure if physical or art is better though. 
Yeah, or spirit should work too. But I want to try and spawn camp them away from everything else. So they can be pests later. By the way, uh, is this tower deployable? Uh, yeah, it is. If you skill, skill slugs here, they will stop spawning. Like this. I feel like they have more attack speed than they should. First one's going through. And let's see if we can nuke it like this. Or maybe this tile is better. Yeah, this is definitely better. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Physical is better than arts. Way better. Okay, good to know. Stop these guys from being annoying. Why did they push a card from there? That makes no sense. I'm being duffed. Oh, it just goes inside of there anyway. Whoa. The fuck is the point of that? <laughs> Since the defenders are now passed. So, as long as you use physical, these guys aren't too annoying. Just avoid arts. It's not ideal. They have fairly high defense though. It's not like Estelle is damaging them much. Yeah, we can just let him walk in. It's fine. Oh, we got even more defenders. Really goofy stage. Especially with the insane movement speed everything has here. gonna have to repeat it a bit aren't all blast casters dog shit except if it because it's a horrible archetype to begin with and if it is just overpowered yeah I don't really think I need a defender I wanna see the priority in Umbrio, and the real keyword for this thing is gonna be Pinecon. The archetype itself is bad, like it has very low stats, so it has to be saved by talents and skills. This is exactly the same way that Juggernaut Defenders is a horrible archetype. 
because the, the trait just is a pure negative that you can't be healed. So in order for the archetype to be good, it needs to be saved by skills and talents. On the other hand, uh, Reaper is a very strong archetype. It has a good stat spread, so it's good even without those things. Because it can't really be bad with the stat line it has. Applier, not applicator. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, to another. I have a full video on her. Short version is she's bad. But uh, I'll go into detail on why exactly. And I'll see if I can actually do something with her. But I tried for a while and couldn't make it work. I like how these guys help. Um, Totter, by the way. They eat all the shit so Totter can get his full damage. Pretty funny interaction. Yeah, these guys have the lowest defense. So I'm Brio Shits on this stage. Good to know. Oh, the Slugs have a lower defense. But only the Slugs. So as long as you control for Slugs. They should get obliterated. Add more damage here. Now oh, she's just targeting this device. That kind of sucks. There's so many defenders on this stage though. They're being annoying pests. in a bind missing mode I see. Almost there. Chop chop with the orders. I can see them coming. I'm here to help. Mm, what do we retreat? No. Almost there. How lucky are we on item binds? A lot. Yeah, that's why it's a bad archetype. But you can't rely that AG will make good operators in the bad archetype. So you can... So, if I get a 4-star Blastcaster, I'm going to assume it's going to be trash. Because they're not going to give it good skills. Also, Ethan carries every stage. Just the usual. How many stages does Chapter 13 have anyway? 21? 
a romantic picture of um, Hordor to make your own. Yeah, but Caper's archetype isn't inherently bad. She's an anti-air sniper with somewhat specific mechanics. Totter is really overpowered, though. But I've ne never claimed the siege uh, siegers to be a bad archetype. Okay, so the box is here. So why the fuck am I holding all the slugs? The how are they even going? Also, they run past here and then they go up. The fuck am I looking at? It's so weird. Uh, haven't really brought a decent operator for this. Myrtle, if you don't mind. We need to get this shit moving. Asshole slug. Okay, so we've set up two QO slugs somewhere on the way. Ethan can handle most of the movement path. This map is really confusing. Okay, and so they all go towards the defender if you don't kill them, which fucks you later. I get it. Okay, so this is just a map where you need to rush these things down. Or you lose. You can also have defenders here. That's more of a pain. Okay, that's a reset. Just kill the defenders. Oh, I already have click in the squad. Uh, Lord Guard is a good archetype. A range for minus 20% damage is okay. A range is in general is in general extremely valuable. If you can hit things before they reach you, you don't take damage. Send the stupid car moving. Preferably now. And start removing defenders because they're pests. This is really bad positioning for Pinecomb. We'll still be fine, I reckon. Where's the stupid car? Still there. Slugwak. Stay still, please. No, the fuck is that? Hi, 
Don't know if it has a range attack, so bait a bit. Hooray! The car is almost there. Need better pinecone positioning for this shit. What the music right now is really inefficient. I can see the car being destroyed. Yeah, the car is kind of screwed. Go, car, go! You can explode everything before it's too late. Hooray! Great job, car. No idea what this thing does at all. Let's go read. Whether something is dispelled on death is a generally useful distinction. Because you can code it both ways. Maro Chiu. Okay. Significantly reduces attack speed, allied units. Okay, so she shits like she shits and makes pull by shitting. When defeated returns to outer and revives. Okay, so she shits and she shit herself. Got it. I'm shocked the card survived, by the way. Again, we have one, two blue boxes. This might be an embryo stage, just from those casters being passed. By the way, these are really weak casters. Without the revive mechanic, they're among the weakest casters in the game. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? This is really confusing to look at. Because when they die here, they already stop doing anything, right? Okay, delete this guy. Suppose faster we get rid of that box, the better. Give it a small push. Push. Not sure if it's enough, so... Okay, that's one down, and that thing's a bit stuck. So let's help. Think I might have died here, because I don't have a good spot for Gavio. But otherwise, the stage seems fairly simple. No, I wasn't even gonna die if I pressed the stealth key earlier. Let's just look through the rest of the stage. So we have the boss walking there. And this annoying shit are just running it down. No, no. He turns. Coward! I thought you were gonna go in. Not much damage, but high arts. Okay, I got the gist of it. Yeah, uh, the shits don't stop spawning until you kill the outers.
I don't think the chapter is much of a stat check. If you want to take your time with the stages. So basically we do the exact same thing. Can I cut straight to Pinecone? Yep. Might as well kill the asshole first. And should probably do this and prepare something to pick off a few of the casters. Okay, both sides have now successfully exploded. Great success. Pretty high damage. Might not have anything for the defender though. Because the body we're using to tank is a bit windy here. Never mind. It's all fine. Well, maybe not. The Sukubus hit it once. Seven. He's gonna. He can't bind it again. So this one's a hundred percent going through. Even if uh, Indigo hits it again, it's not enough. So we just need some real body for the top lane. Mm. Right, I have no reason to finish it. Don't see any reason to bring Gitan in particular here. I also forgot to change my squad. Ah well. We will work with what we have then. You come at me like that. You can't blame me for what happens next. Mm. We're counting on you again today, little apple. Hi. 
We are gonna need to tag it for anything. So we can just leave her there for a bit. Smack the device a few times. Might be a bit late on pushing it. Ah well. It happens. Just make sure she gets poked properly this time. The lack of range tiles on top are pretty annoying though. Okay, kind of got bodied here. So as I said, no point in eating. Is this arts or physical? Range darts. Hm, not so bad for arts damage. Ah well, the art damage solution. Or what model Matterhorn is a bit better, so we'll use him I guess. the normal sanity cost when you do normal mode and challenge mode in one stage. Have you never seen it before? If you just, uh, when you play the adverse chapters, you can do the normal mode and the challenge mode together. So you don't have to play the same stage twice. Which is what I'm doing right now. We've only been playing challenge modes. Okay, almost done. Chop chop with the orders. I'll make him regret showing their faces. No draw them later. Matterhorn is definitely overkill for this. But you know, if it works, it works. Good day, how do you do? That should be most of them. Don't think they can kill him if they're struggling to get him under 50. Because that's when Gavio starts to heal a bunch. We just need to kill the third one that's coming. Okay. That's basically everything on the stage. Should have probably brought her in or something at some point. Ah well. Yeah, that guy's not doing anything. 
Try to nick one of them this way. All right, we're fine. Only problem is that that's gonna take a while to clean up. I, I should have let her walk more, I guess. I could have a medic here control both sides. With perfumer or something and just be able to kill stuff as they actually come in. That would be a lot less work. Yeah, just walk forward. I don't have the patience. Fairly low defense. 1000 or so. Yeah, we have to farm materials from chapter 10 to eat to the brat. Sorry to hear that dust. This is giving me MNEX8 vibes. If there's not at least one enemy that just throws the fuck out of you by crossing the undeployable tiles, I'll be super disappointed. The Oseo style. Stop right there, you little cops. Don't you start okay, so melee shits with defense in the center, annoying caster on the side. Good scenery here, doctor. Everything puffs here and then they come out here. What a weird stage. Okay. I doubt this is optimal, but let's get rid of the sluggy is there for now. We'll figure out the rest of the stage in a moment. If we deploy here, one caster can hit. So we need like this and then a bait. Should probably actually kill the caster first. Mm -hmm. Might as well spawn these things. Okay, so anything that can safely kill the center or these guys. I don't get the gimmick of this stage. Like, I get the casters are supposed to annoy you. But the devices don't revive, right? So we don't get what we're doing here at all. Oh yeah, the devices can revive the casters, yeah. So you just wanna ignore the casters until the end. That's the whole gimmick. Okay. Does the caster trick work with stairs? Uh, let's help Homo stunk a bit. Because I wanna know if it works with stairs or not. Like, if this caster dies here, will he be unrevivable? Nah, he can be revived there. Okay, that's fine. This is more of a gimmick stage. You kind of need to rush through it though. So we just push the device. Nah, it's easy, because the slugs increase your block, remember? So you can block the slugs with anyway. So we have 20 enemies. We have eight enemies occupied by the actual enemies of the stage, that are these guys, so there's only 12 slugs. So any defenders can block 12 slugs and you can just ignore them. You don't need to kill the sluggies at all. So just to imagine a squad for it, like this, this. And then you will go with something to chase the casters around.
Uh, let's say Jaya, Cutter is one, Arin. Yeah, whatever. The other operators don't matter much. Why not Pudding? We haven't used Crow Chapter. I'm just uh, making some random operators for this. Maybe Umbreo 2 and Perfumer. Sure. Because mm. we just want to push the card. We have eaten this one. The card pusher. Oh yeah, an Umbreo. So, the main gimmick here is that you can just ignore the... Oh shit, I forgot Verdant. Oops. Failure. We need to have the terrible child with us at all times. Why is it so fucking hot? It's like 11 p.m. And I'm so sweaty. Yeah, whatever. Let's take out some good operator and put Verdant in. Can we settle disputes some other way that's not direct conflict? Then just pick a side to a new card from existence. And we just need to push it through. Because I can't. I need mats. We're currently playing through the chapter to farm mats. Okay, that's all of the slugs dealt with until the end of time. So now we just spawn a device and push it through. I assume that's enough. Yep, that's basically it. Oh, it ran out of energy. Dead branches and rotten leaves. I'll sweep up in no time. Just these guys have zero defense, apparently, or very close to it in any case. Okay, so now we can kill the casters on this side. The only problem here is that the defender should be all the way in the back. So these guys can't leak through. But beyond that, that's the basic idea. Move the stupid card. Mm. Not that it's important. You can just tank two casters. Why is this one not moving? What the hell? So weird. I guess if you destroy the Merle, the slugs go straight into into you. To throw you. That would be my guess anyway. Mm. Now I'm obviously dead here. But I think the basic strategy is fine. Oh, it's the timing reset thing. If you kill them before their timer runs out, their cooldowns get reset. It happens with a lot of enemies. The TFK. And have a second phase. You can see it in the event with the goat spawning shits. That's why this thing didn't move. So when they have two phases, if they die before their wait timer is finished, they just freeze in place. So if you kill these things uh, quickly, around halfway through the stage, you can just leave them there until the end of time afterwards. Annoying spots.
Yeah, I, really, it doesn't come up often. You know, it doesn't work on bosses, by the way. If the bosses have a second phase, they continue normally. The reason it happens with uh, second phases and enemies like that is because the enemy that spawns is a different instance entirely. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, so I don't have to micro stuff. So when you kill boss phase 1, um, the enemy counter doesn't change, right? So if the boss is the first thing that spawns when you kill it, and it goes into phase 2, you're still gonna be 0 out of whatever. If you kill one of these enemies, you can see the counter will actually change. When this thing died, the counter changed. Just to be sure it's not a side effect from killing the caster. Which I don't think it is, because the caster is not really dead. Yeah, you can see it goes 2 out of 20. Because the actual enemy is dead, and then a new enemy spawns that wasn't there before. That's why if you kill an enemy that's AFK, that spawns some kind of extra enemy, they inherit the position of the old enemy. And if that enemy's next command was wait on this tile for X amount of time, this one will follow it. No matter how much of that time has actually passed. This is really abusable on some stages. Uh, go back to difficulty 3. Doesn't look like the boss stage. Now let's see the stage first. I'll change the squad later. Hooray, we're near the end. Okay, so you just want to use an operator that isn't Totter here, I guess. What's the gimmick beyond that? Oh, these guys have enough range to hit there. I see. I forgot they actually have range. But you can just deflect with something. It's fine. No. Uh, screw it, I don't know what the rest of the stage is. Let's play a bit. If the two of them hit different targets, that alone should be enough. For perfumer to outheal. Good bit of bravery in you to stand as my You can also just kill them with something like Totter, Silverash, and such. There's also other gimmicks like this. So stop the slugs with something. This position makes no sense. Oh wait, this is one of those. Uh, you can also just kill them in the red box. If you kill the slugs in the red box, they can't move at all. Let's abuse that. This is triv- oh yeah, Horde this one also review stuff. This is trivial regardless though. This isn't a dangerous stage. Because they're gonna AFK forever. Uh, I just wanna do something else. Because those guys are going to AFK there for a long time. Let's set up a camping setup. And then for the other guys. Yeah, Perfumer plus Pudding. And then throw in random operators. <laughs> this isn't really necessary. I just want to try camping one side. Because it's funny. Yeah, yeah, the annoying child is already in there. I just take a second medic. DP. And an Utagi, why not? I'm being assigned to combat? I just want to see if I can spawn camp everything in the red box. Because they can't respawn if you kill them there. So it kind of just resolves the... Just trying to abuse the map a bit. Like this. I'm here to help. 
Not sure how useful that would actually be. Well, with backpipe is definitely fine. No, oh, no, never mind. Infinite range. He just respawns it in your asshole. Need to destroy uh, the pewers first for that to make sense. Uh, these are arts damage guys. They were in chapter 10. I think they didn't spawn slugs when you kill them. Could be wrong though. Okay, that doesn't work though. I'm very sad. Curse the infinite range. The car does, it just got stuck because somebody was hitting other stuff. Not enough damage. Okay, so there's no point in camping the red boxes. The stage has a counter to that. You have to camp the blue boxes instead. Totter can kill the guys reasonably quickly, but he's an option, yeah. I'll see what we'll bring later. Good bit of bravery in you to stand as my enemy. We'll just set up here for now. And spawn this thing as quickly as we can. Then we'll add some DPS on the way to try and move it through. There goes Myrtle. Let's set up to camp the center. I should definitely put murder Myrtles somewhere farther back. Anyway, uh, this should split the damage in two. Yeah, it's safe. And that deletes the center assholes for later. Oh, backup assholes from here. Whoa. Bad way to deploy, because I think they do AoE. We might need to abuse Pinecone here. But we'll get to that later. One thing at a time. Oh, the car is stuck. Need to bring some other operators to push it properly. Because these guys keep slowing it. Yeah, Totter might make sense. These guys get healed anyway. Because they're annoying shits. Stage 15 was awesome. My favorite stage of this chapter so far. After I'm done with uh, one or two with another videos, so I'm definitely going back to that one. To stage 15. I just want to play the shit out of it. Figure it out. Okay, so let's see. We didn't need Vigna for anything. We have Slug Spam. So we might want to add a bit of DPS to resolve that. This doesn't feel efficient, but nah, we'll think about that later. We are now doing winning. Okay, Totter's, Totter's turn to have some fun. Not sure which is better, we'll try both, who cares. And, yeah. We can use Pudding later. This guy's fine.
I mean, I can use quartz, but she won't do anything in particular that any other operator won't do. So I also, uh, also I'm just not really interested in using her. Like, yeah, she can kill the shitty slugs, but Estelle and Humus can do it too. Quartz doesn't really do more damage than Estelle and Humus. We need this tile, so we'll do the same trick. I forgot I shouldn't deploy Myrtle here. I have a bad habit of keep a uh, muscle memory habit, where I sometimes do the same thing over and over. No way, this is much better. If I kill the bottom ones, I can free up these tiles. Then I can shit on everything from there. If I hold uh, Myrtle as one a bit, and let that guy walk through, like that. Okay, so now this tile is fine. Need some DP, so don't die, please. And now we're sending the car on the road trip. Yeah, Totter's a pretty big cheese here. This thing still, is still getting stuck in the middle, because they're both hitting it, you need a bunch of DPS to push it through. Kind of irritating to deal with. Ambro is a bot here, I should have used some something faster attacking. To push the car through. And we need something to control one lane to protect the tiles. And these guys move kind of quickly. Okay. I'll just don't let Myrtle die. So we can actually keep producing DP. No need to place uh, Totter in the back, because we don't need Pinecone down that fast. I should have taken out Umbreo too. It's fine. But he only attacked one of them. That's kind of less than ideal too. Maybe opening the tiles is better. Because these guys are the last thing to get attacked. Yeah, I don't like this version. Let's go to Totter opening up two tiles. And us using Pinecone there. Sorry, Doctor. Target's out of range. I, I can't hit them. By the way, I never use Deep Cower when I blind play stages. She's like the faster deployed defender medic. She fulfills those roles. And kind of a vanguard too. We'll go back to her later. In reality, not using Deep Cow would only lower the correct operator count by one or two. But I'm so used to using her, she's absolutely my comfort zone. Time to move. Go, car, go. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't actually have an operator that can push that properly. I Oops. You me here to fix a lock. A one -on -one. Soft guy, huh? 
Yeah, I should really get rid of Umbreal and deploy a second anti-air sniper there, so I can keep pushing. Maybe Deep Cower can take the role of the first one, because it's not like I need a quick push on the first part of the car. I only need to move quickly. Oh, it's out of range. Yeah, actually, we could just use Verdant. So what should this one go to? Nah. Vermeo. The car gets prioritized, so the second target hit doesn't matter. I'm thinking of something that can kill the annoying gascos in the middle. Let's give uh, Pudding a hand with it later. Also, I should have gone back to using Beanstalk. She makes a lot of sense here. Because she can just uh, help with that lane a lot. So whatever though. I see foul taking off. Probable ambush in the grass. Great luck. Got a tailwind today. I see you. To intimidate the enemy? I'm capable of that, right? Hmm? I have to get serious now. Dead branches and rotten leaves. I'll sweep up in no time. Just you watch. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? Chop chop with the orders. There's more of you. Click is the what ultimate pusher for this card, though. Mm. Snipers have nothing on her. But the explosions left over are gonna kill her. And Estelle's a bit wimpy. She struggles a lot more than Humus. You know, I'm gonna go back to where I put Myrtle before. Having her on the left side is just being a pain that I don't need. The rest of the stuff were fine. Just better positions for the pushers. And once we get the bomb in, the slug stop being annoying and there's nothing left on the stage. Uh, Overall, I kind of en enjoyed this event. Funny mechanics. I see clouds rising. Probable hostiles in the snow. Foggy to won't be any use. To intimidate the enemy? I'm capable of that, right? Is this? Uh, around, guys. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Chop chop with the orders. I'll make him regret. I think we should be able to get one more skill off. Yeah, Mortal dying is fine. Would have obviously been preferable for her to not die. Uh, Humus dying not so much. Need Pinecone down earlier. So then we can deploy Pudding like this and then Totter back here. And then something to control here. Um... Do I prefer the Revival or Chapter 12? I kind of like the Chapter 12 mechanic, it's not too bad. I enjoyed most of the enemies in Chapter 12 as well. The boss would have been fight fine too if we didn't have to fight it six fucking times. Uh, medics are a bit whatever here. Who else wants to go kill stuff for me? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, can... Yeah, whatever. We only need to cover one lane anyway. We'll just throw in a medic. 
in case we need it later yeah the dp being limited and you having to work through it was really interesting when figuring out the stages i can absolutely see why it would be insanely frustrating for some people though when you don't know the stages down to the letter they're super annoying to play What's the average opi opinion on chapter 12 anyway? Like, I like it, but I'm a super tryhard. I'm not really the normal audience of this game. What's the more average player's opinion? For people who don't want to spend hours playing a stage. Can I skip just to this? Might be... But I can delete these assholes right now. And just not deal with their asses later. Even if these guys are super buff, they're gonna die eventually. Okay, five guys, fine. And now we can go do the car push. Oh, well, I guess not. Just need to kill this one. Oh, annoying shits. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to do this. I feel like it's easier to ignore the cart mechanic and to actually push it across the map. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the carts the, until the until the variant. There's just too much of a pain to set up. I'll just kill the enemies instead. This makes sense. Might be make sense to skip on Pinecone. Chapter H204 was awesome, but H201 and H203 should not have had the boss. Like the fact that we had to fight him so many times kind of ruined the boss for me. I like the respawn gimmick too. I'm not really much for ranking stuff, to be honest. I like uh, I like this more or less. Is only I can I can't really rank uh, which food I like either. Like I either like it or don't, and I don't care much beyond that. If you ask me to make a tier list, tier list that's based on any kind of subjective opinion, I'd struggle with it. Okay, we're almost set up. Oh yeah, I took out Pinecone for some reason. Which was what exactly? I'm high, that's what the reason is. H12-3, I have the worst memories of it. I spent forever trying to do 9 operators on H12-3. Then when I finally did it, I started working on H12-4 after a few weeks break, uh, break of a break from them. And after I got halfway through H12-4, I realized that my strategy for H12-3 was fucking stupid and I can just do 8 operators. Stop right there, you little cops. Don't just Absolute worst stage for me. Wait, why did I talk and then not that pinecon back in? I'm not gonna deal with the slugs until the end. 
Yeah, that's what happens when I start talking. My attention goes out the window. Uh, I don't need to tag it for anything. The streamer skill issue, you mean? Take a long break. That stage is pure suffering. I see foul taking off. Probable ambush in the grass. Foggy to this. Stop moving. My pushover look should pull a lot of enemies here. Hmm? I have to get serious now. Okay, so we just want to delay when we drop Humus a bit. Actually, no, that doesn't fucking matter. I'm just thinking pointless crap. And now we set up two operators to kill everything that comes out of there. And we won. Add the gist of it. Because we have an operator slot we can get click down to. Okay, now we're done. No hands needed for the rest of it. Ah, this guy couldn't even get healed. Swap and delete these assholes next. Oh, the assholes started moving. How rude of them. No other stuff left, so we can start pushing cards. Okay, done. Wait, I'm trolling. Here, eh? Those were four. Oh yeah, and I can't click uh, under him. Annoying assholes. Wait until it hits so I can replace. Not until he hits, until this thing hits. Wait, did it hit or not? The fuck. Okay, go slower. When we see green number, we can retreat. Because Verdant is never gonna kill it. Hit you, piece of shit. Okay. The reason I'm waiting is so it's stuck in its animation and can't move while I'm changing the operator. And now get somebody to push the stupid car. I thought it was uh, less than an <laughs> uh, force lux and almost died because of it. Whoa. That was so dumb. Die, you fucks. Not 
the cost of not paying attention. I didn't have to pay attention to fix not paying attention. Mission complete. Right now, I got the same feeling I get seeing a blueprint come perfectly to life. Okay. What, a relief. what the fuck is the boss? Gonna just take a look at it so we can read his skills and then I'm gonna take a two minute break before we do it. Let's move. Time waits for nobody. So we deploy pudding can we win? I'm here to help. Do Karel. I'm just thinking of the you know the big uh, bug monster from Diablo 2 in the desert, Duriel? That's what that name reminds me of. There's no reason to hit this dude. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? Releases, blah blah blah. Arts damage. Reduces the SPD. And upgrades the shit it spawns. What's the condition behind this exactly? Okay, so the first phase is very easy to kill, which means that the second phase is going to be some annoying bullshit. Good to know, I guess. Alright, and you need medics, because one operator gets stacked with bullshit DPS. So, if you can kill the boss super quickly, there's usually some reason you don't want to do it. Hi. Like, he's going to do some bullshit that will fuck you over. Hi. That's how it works most of the time, anyway. <laughs> yeah, like that. You just want to actually clear the stage before you, de you start dealing with his bullshit. That's about what I expected. I was just curious. Oh, what did the stun even come from there? So we have casters dancing around like it's an IS-4 stage. One of the big fucks that has his own separate lane where he's supposed to be killed. And then this guy becomes more pale. And we need to put in the defenders at some point. Okay. Yeah, let's help the boss team a bit. Relax. Nobody wins every fight. Go home. Wash your face. Life goes on. Let's read the wall of text. This is the arts damage. When defeated, activate four times, one target each time. Weird way to specify that. Prioritizing stuff that hasn't been hit. Arts damage and stun. <laughs> when defeated, returns to throne and revives. So you need to let him walk around. Enter second form when throne is destroyed, right? So he's irrelevant until then. Reduce damage, increases health again. Of I'm gonna have a sneezing fit. I'm gonna go blow my nose for a bit. Sorry, just a second.
Okay, done. I'm back. I'm not even sick. I just uh, have an allergy to something and start randomly sneezing recently. I have no idea what I'm actually allergic to. It's not the usual stuff. Attacks deal, continuous hearts damage that ramps up. If the target leaves the field, redeployment time is increased. So if there's probably a cap to how much the art damage goes up, like Manfred. Continuously spawns both Amber around the unit for a period of time. Both Mist will be released center around this unit. So he just fuck you to one unit, okay. When hit by a bomb, destroys the corresponding bomb boiling point and releases both search twice. What the fuck is bot search? Oh, he starts stunning stuff. I mean, who isn't allergic to reading basic Arts Night boss descriptions? So you just wanna smack him with stun bombs. That's the gist of it. You've heard wrong. The math is infinitely worse. Oh, they actually want to take. Might need some more DP. Huh? Mm. We're gonna end up tanking. Something we might need to bring a couple of medic. It all, it's all arts damage. Oh, target to remove the bottom lane guy. And pudding, we already have her. Mm. Sure, why not? I need There's to do. I wanna go. <coughs> have zero clue what to expect from the rest of the stage. But I also want to go to sleep already, so let's try hard. Good scenery here, Doctor. Don't think that's enough to kill. Alright. I'm up. Yeah, I just barely survived. He does a lot of damage, damn. Oh, that thing revives Lux. That's super fucking annoying. Okay, so his mechanic works a bit differently from the rest of the, of the event. Also, he walks right into us. So we do need to block him and kill him at some point. Kill this guy in his own lane. I'm not sure if Utagi actually wins that. Because he would do more damage when he gets blocked. <coughs> yeah, also she got debuffed. If she's not the target, she wins that, I think. Okay, this stage is actually really complicated. Because you kind of need to... Now we don't need to kill him, we just need to block him. So Kumi might be better on that lane. We wanna disable the boss for a bit. Just block him with Gummy and a medic and just leave him there. Every map is a readouter map. That's how good operators are. It doesn't matter. Just like how every map is a Mjolnir map. I thought you wanted me here to fix the lock. Okay, that's fine. So much damage, though. Ah, screw it! Bring it on, all of you! 
Do these things get permanently buffed afterwards? Or only for a while? Yeah, the crystal is still buffed, I think. That's kind of troll. You sure get rushed a lot on this stage. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Oh yeah, this thing is are gonna revive. You think you're gonna grind me down? Yeah, as long as it's not the target. At least there's no revivals. Until this thing charges anyway. Yeah, if Utaga isn't affected, she can kill on her own. Not here, not here. Maybe I can kill it with the slugs. Yep. Okay, so Homo's here and then blocking the boss here with something else to eat the basic. Mops, and then we need to deal with the defenders and these assholes in their own lane. A lot of moving parts in this stage. The fuck did this thing come from? I wasn't paying attention. And it sort of just showed up with me. Okay, this basic idea is solid, but Gummy does too much damage. We'll use Matterhorn. <coughs> He'll also take a bit more damage, so we might need a better medic to keep him alive. Yeah, I thought the uh, stage uh, was quieting down for a bit. It was not, at all. My main concern is that Gummy can beat the shit out of the boss. Ah, uh, so I need her to block something else. Can we see the boss path from here? If I can deploy her on a defender, and he walks that, it would be convenient to me. Yeah, I just don't remember the boss path. So I'll just see it again, and check if the boss walks over a defender. Because otherwise I have to use Matterhorn. And he blocks 4 slugs while hitting for less. I suppose there's no way around it. Good scenery. So then we need more healing. Ooh, I have to get serious now. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? Bring it on, all of you. Yeah, he walks over this tile. But then he gets targeted by casters. That's not valid. Bunch of damage. Might be fine. Yeah, it's stable. And we'll get rid of the caster some other way in a bit.
less than an ideal place for the blood mist. Yes, that was getting bodied because the medic died earlier. That's fine. Okay, we can clean up the casters that way. I assume it's like he comes up with some random car to you, and you're like, hey, where did you get that? And he's like, ah? Whose car is this? I didn't steal it. Why would you think that? So wait until Myrtle is the debuff. Then we set up here. We can... Gavio here. Pog boss here. Eaton here. There's more of you? Eaton will then get rid of all of the casters, so they stop being pests. Too early. Need to deploy perfumer here first. Sorry for all the coughing. Run! Should really bind the mute mu mute button for the microphone. Good scenery here, Doctor. Hmm? I have to get serious now. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? Ah, do it! Bring it on, all of you! Uh, some more random up here. We just want to get rid of one debuff. Yeah, like that. Now we double medic here. And we start removing casters. Eat a debuff here. <laughs> Sorry. This is fine. Oh, so the slugs are heavier. Kind of funny. Mm. My art DPS was a bit late for this. I leaked uh, three slugs at once somewhere.
私に任せて出発か Good scenery here, Doctor. Don't worry, you got me. Oh, gather around me, guys. Huh? I thought you wanted me here to fix the log. There's more of you? Ugh, what a day. No, Doctor. ぼーっとしてないで走るよ。But I do feel like a. What tile do we use, use for this anyway? This kind of makes sense. Uh, too late. Oops. I ended up not needing the body. I kind of need the heal here though. <laughs> the way the lightning bounces though. After the first hit they're no they are no longer tauntable. So the lightning can just do whatever it wants. Okay, I'm getting too much luck, so let's go down to level one speed. Not doing anything more for me there. Try to smack a few casters. Even if he just caused them a bunch of health, that's fine. Might need a bit of help here. And we have slugs in the way. So this thing can't make it through for now. Okay, we'll tag one on the bottom. Block this thing here. Wait, I'm stupid. That was outside of the range. Oh, the boss died. Oh. Uh, 
So does he get the same spawn point? Oh no, we have even more enemies on this stage. Just start killing these assholes. Oh. Yeah, I need to have dealt by some of them at this point. This is a bit too late because now all of the carters are gonna roll over. We have other problems, so to say. That's enough kill, can be finished later. Your stream is very dead. Oh yeah, the casters can't respawn here. Makes sense. Okay, much more workable. Not just a few attempts. It doesn't seem particularly hard to me, honestly. Especially since this is the challenge mode. Is this even possible, oh my ass? Okay, so the basic setup works. Uh, there's probably some much more intelligent way to do it. But uh, I don't... I'm too tired to, fi to think at the moment. I'll just brute force this with the school they have. The basic idea of what we are doing is functional enough. So in short, the still just needs a bit of help. Yeah, the cards are useless. <coughs> Sorry. It's not like I have been using them, so I'm not sure why you keep uh, restating that though. Uh, let's do a few things a bit faster though. Bait. There's more of you. Yeah, this is what fine. Wait until we get the debuff somewhere. Okay, done. And I'll just kill the last two defenders. And we can go harass the casters there for a bit. Oh yeah, I guess a uh, pastel leaks a bit. Stay alive, Doctor. You won't have a future to count on otherwise. Or something anyway. It's kind of weird when I get it instantly when I have three lives. Without anything dying. Yeah, yeah, so we need it in the back. No way around it. If they're both leaking at the same time. Pillow, don't you go leaving my sight. I... I won't let the bad guys win. Oh, I have to get serious now. Huh? I thought you wanted me here to fix the lock. There's more of you. Uh, what a day. Anyhow, we're completely ignoring the boss until we deal with everything else. That's the main thing I got from this attempt. 
Then we kill it right before we blow up the generator. Hmm. Does anyone know if we have to push one device or all of them? Alright, so triggering phase too early makes no sense anyway. I keep facing Perfumer down. Where the fuck is the blood clot? Oh, and it's in gummy. Okay. I almost didn't see it. Okay, click. It's not doing anything anymore. Free up some operator slots. The death bow on the top lane. The fuck? Oh yeah, cause Pudding got the debuff. That makes sense. I can see why I died there. So it's just controlling the last deployed operator. Oh, the device baiting the debuff. That's useful. Thank you. We can use it on Myrtle's tail and dispel it over there. Whose car is this? How should I know? What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Can just leave that there. Ooh, I have to get serious now. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Bring it on, all of you. We're counting on you again. Oh yeah, this guy keeps dying. Defenders have a high approach in the, the cart. No, no, no. Yep, they do. Might have been too late in retreating with Tagia. Whatever, one problem at a time. Retreat Marto. And just start working on the caster pests. Maybe I shouldn't have used it in skill. Stay still, please. Nice bank, Dom. 
heal more, please. The fuck was this? Oh, the boss died. That's why we got an AoE stun there. That's kind of a stupid way to leak, but it happens. <laughs> Stay alive, Doctor. He won't have a future to count on otherwise. <coughs> no shit. Verdant. It walks quite a bit, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with this again. Seems reasonable enough. One change, though. At your service. I don't want to deal with the boss dying. It's annoying. And gummy crits are a pain. I wonder if it was if I should have taken off his model. I'm here to help. Getting shot hurts, you know. Okay, finally. My throat is clear now. Huh? I thought you wanted me here to fix the lock. There's more of you. Uh, what a day. Okay, we can leave the deep of there. Just deploy all other crap now. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Oh, Martin died. That's fine, actually. All right. I... Not deploying the medic here is less than fine, though. On I think one. we barely make it in time. Need to kill this asshole first, then we can deploy pure stream. Oh no, that guy is super dead. Whoa. Fest starting. There's more of you. Uh, what a day. My sheep, my conviction. I shall bring any monster to its knees. Device dying is fine, we can just summon a new device. Item binding outside of range was extremely troll though. More of you. Uh, Should be fixable, but... Get blocked by Jai again, please. Fuck, I messed up. Okay, Jai is just... not doing anything now. Oh, 
No DP. Last task hole coming from through here is gonna be a problem. Well, not necessarily. Just a little bit more. Wait until he gets walked into the animation. I think she can't beat him in melee though. We're allowing him perfumer healing. Just bad enough. Good enough. <coughs> we'll finish that asshole later. Probably with click. Yeah, stay there, please. If he moves a bit, I'm going to have problems. To put it mildly. Okay, that guy will fuck me now. Because I can't. Probably can't kill this shit anymore. Because some slug is gonna walk in the way. And keep healing him over and over. Like so. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? No, oh, are we actually alive? Good scenery here, Doctor. Whoa. Just barely made it out. Bunch of ten of penny weeds. Unexpected. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Oh yeah, they get revived when you move the device. That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Might be a good idea to actually clear a puff then. Okay, so he respawns here. Eventually you wanna push him all the way back there. Because I assume that's where I want the boss to die anyway. I'm trying to clear the shits in the way. Because you don't want any more of those things around. Here. Start clearing the shits out. The car dying is fine. I don't care. I just wanna clear the path through. Looks way more like 15 FPS than 20 to me. Okay, that should be good enough. One more of these shits we can deal with. Some better push. Okay, so what happens when this guy explodes? Okay, the entire stage is clear. He starts spawning shit under him. What else? A lot of damage. Yep. Understood. Bunch of ten of penny weeds. Nothing I'm interested in. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Not 
Struggling to move the cards, I see. Oh, damn, he even killed Matterhorn. So when the car explodes, preferably around now. Now we should have a damage window. Well, damage window is not inaccurate. Not a big one, though. Okay, I get the gist of it. But then we lose the device afterwards. Oh, and he keeps spawning new waves of slugs. Oh, is that the bow deploying it? Oh. That's a ton of damage. Is this device useless now? Because I have no way to get it back to him. Like, how am I supposed to push this? Where, where is it even gonna go? Okay, the biggest weakness I notice is that he doesn't have a ranged attack. That's a pretty big weakness for a modern boss. So you can probably just uh, stalk him indefinitely, to a large extent. Okay, let's see if we can bring this device over. There's nothing on that lane anyway. I wouldn't say it's much of a healing check, there's nothing to heal. Again, is there any way to even get this device to him? Yeah, it just goes here. There's nothing. Okay, and then it turns. Got it. So now it's gonna walk into him. If I just need to bring better healing ops, I'll be kind of annoyed. Well, this is also an option. The slugs heal or what? Oh, they heal based on how much damage he does or what? Like, I can obviously see the Slugs are healing more than usual. I just don't know why. Okay, so I probably need. It's probably a good idea to bring Pinecon and I'm trying to actually optimize this bullshit. Oops. Okay, we're fine. Next hit. Yeah, I'm not, I don't get the second phase at all. You just block him and then you tank him. And if you can't block him, you just use range damage. Which he is also extremely vulnerable to. Because he doesn't have a ranged attack of his own. So as long as you don't block him, he has no ranged pressure. The fuck am I even watching? Now, I'm kind of confused. I shall be. You don't have what it takes. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the challenge of the second phase is. This is kind of over, unless he has um, third phase. Well, you 
Can we speed this up a bit? That didn't feel sped up at all. Whoa. I mean, I don't AFK, but I think I need to press buttons. I shall be Maybe I don't. You think you're gonna cry uh, have a good tile for pudding somewhere. But I think she loses attack speed here. Ah well, whatever. Don't overthink this crap. Just press button until he dies. I can definitely make a much better setup for AFK killing him. Yeah, he probably just has art dodge. Like Manfred. You know, arts and physical dodge. That's what they usually do when they want to just annoy you. <coughs> Into rolling for better operators. I could definitely kill him much faster, even with 4 stars. I just don't have appropriate damage here. You think you're gonna grind me down with I kind of like the first phase of the stage. The second is uh, just a chore though. Yeah, I don't think anything resists true damage. Taua sort of does, but not really. She just reduces the attack of your operator. Technically. Or rather, reduces the damage your operator does to her. It's weird. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, my brain's already relaxed. It's fine. Can you tell when Jaya is hitting the boss? Plus 3, plus 3. I can definitely feel that 90% damage resistance coming out there. How you can hear click in this mess, I don't know, but props to you. I shall be my conviction. Let's get charged. One on one. Soft guy, huh? Yeah, second phase is a bit whatever. I assume we can just gravel him in infinitely. Like you use whatever setup to kill the first and then you just cycle gravel and this asshole or something similar to keep him blocked forever. And then you can just kill him with ranged operators. You don't actually have to kill the boss at all if you don't have true damage. You can just throw faster deployment at him because he walks so fucking slowly he'll never get out of range. Hooray, we're done. We're doing um, the H stages too, in a week or two. Thanks. Ooh, a rain of boot. Very dramatic. 
ドクター君が指揮を取ればきっと勝てると信じていたわあっとかわよ OK so let's see what stages I actually want to do、uh, final piece of OP sometimes I forget to click them So 1315 is definitely there. That one was awesome. This was my favorite stage of the whole chapter. Really fun to figure out. This one's what this one's a training stage. This one is funny because Humus sows it basically. What else do we have? I like the first phase, the second phase kind of uh It doesn't work. Like, he needs enemies with him. He doesn't do anything on his own. Very weird stage. And I like the gimmick of this stage quite a bit. Okay, so I'll probably do those three stages first and then I'll go from there. And when do these things open? Was it two weeks usually? Oh, I needed to click every one of those individually. We can save each other the trouble of introducing ourselves, and I'll treat this contract as a token of you approving how we cooperate. Yep, I never want to see you again. Soft. Okay, we'll do another of these streams in one week. I'll stream something else tomorrow. First, to finish, though, another video, though. All right. Good night for now.